And I know they really wish we would hey. fall Till we fall hey. on the big bad wolf hey. There's a full moon Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be, well actually as you guys saw at the beginning, there's pretty much just a banner I made for my brother. His name is Ultra Gyarados, you know, I don't really know what his YouTube channel is, but that's his gamer tag and that's why I wanted to make it. Plus he likes the Warlocks, so I did that. And I put Gyarados and Magikarp in it, and that's just my first banner design for someone besides me. Remember, I do make banners for people that are active on the channel and stuff like that. You know, if you guys are just active and you want a banner for your channel, then, um, you know, like all the videos, comment, and make sure that I know that you're, you know, on my channel and stuff like that. Because otherwise, I do charge on Patreon. If you guys want to go over there, you guys can, uh, you know, do that. Go on my Patreon and pledge to it or whatever it is. I don't even know. But other than that, pretty much this is how to get better at Call of Duty. I dropped my best gameplay, technically. Well, it's my most kills, and it didn't have too many deaths, so I guess it would be my best gameplay. It's really not. My best gameplay, I think, is like a 40 and 4 or something like that. So far, Or no, like a 40 and 8 or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I mean, I did really good in this gameplay. The gun I'm using is the M1941 assault rifle. It's the first assault rifle you get in the game. And I don't know if that's actually like what it's called, you know, M1941, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, I don't really ever call guns by their actual name. Most of the time I'll just give them a nickname. This one's actually just the cook because that is the, you know, the epic variant that I'm using. And I actually like this one a lot. I wasn't going to use this gun because when I first started the game, I didn't like it at all. But I've learned to control the recoil and pretty much that's the first step to getting good at Call of Duty. Is you guys got to learn to control your recoil. You guys cannot let your gun kick everywhere. If you guys do, you're going to miss bullets. And it's, it's pretty apparent that the best players in the game are people with good rec recoil control. You know, like they can really hit you with all their shots. Because if it takes four bullets to kill someone versus someone who takes like five, if you hit your four before they hit their five, you know, then you're obviously going to get the kill all the time. But um, it also comes down to picking the right weapon. In this game, a lot of the weapons are really balanced besides, I guess, like the bar. But even then, it's kind of balanced. Um, but most of the weapons in the game are really balanced besides I like, you know, as I said, the bar, which actually seems to kill way too fast in my opinion, because I've been able to turn on so many people, but you guys have to pick, figure out, you know, like you have to pick the guns that you guys like, the guns that you're comfortable with and don't worry about what everyone else is using. Don't worry about any of that or anything like, you know, just do what you guys do. Go to the firing range. I already made a video on this. Get your accuracy better. Actually aim at the enemies that are farther down. Try and kill like, or destroy the targets in as many bullets as possible one thing that I like to do is I go into a private match and I just put on some bots I put them on like regular and I will put the life to double and I'll just shoot at all of them and try and hit every single shot as many times as I can I will do that usually for like 30 minutes and then I'll get back into a game and then it just feels like you kill faster and it feels like you hit more bullets and I don't know that's how I've done it next thing you want to do to get your accuracy better and pretty much get better at Call of Duty is find your sensitivity right now I'm playing on a 5-5 and that's pretty much just because I've tested out everything else. I didn't like the 4-4. I didn't like a 4-5 or a 5-4. I like a 5-5. I tried the 7-7 because in uh, Infinite Warfare, I was a 7-7. And I don't really like it either. So I just went down to a 5-5. And I might switch it to a 6-6. But that's on like a whole other note. I'm kind of getting comfortable with the 5-5. So I don't really want to switch it. But that's pretty much the next tip is pretty much, you know, just get your like sensitivity setup get your accuracy like you know better go to the firing range shoot some targets and then the next thing is map awareness now you guys can either radar whore for this or you can actually just listen or anything like that or just kind of figure out where people like to run most people like to run down the middle of the map so if you're running on the outsides of the map you will almost never get into a gunfight so you can actually go behind people and shoot them in the back and this is one tip that i have like, I have to really stress this out because so many people don't ever do this. So many people just run down the middle of the map and they don't even worry about anything. Like, you got to know where the hot spots are, where the, like, overpowered head glitches are. And you guys have to learn how to counter them because you can't just, uh, you know, play the game and someone's sitting in, like, on this map. What is it? Those two rooms where you got the, the windows. You can't let them sit up there. Like, you really have to get around them and kill them. Otherwise, they will just destroy you because it's really hard to hit them out of that. And it's annoying. And especially those two lookout areas, I can never hit people on that. I mean, I do it in this gameplay. But, you know, I almost never have the accuracy to actually hit people that sit up there. So, it's like you guys really want to learn how to rotate around the map. 
And for hard point specifically, you want to learn the map rotations or the um, hard point spawn rotations so that you can get there before anyone else is there. Then you can set up and already, you know, get some free kills because people will just run over there thinking that it's, you know, no one's on it or thinking that people aren't going to be on it or like near it or anything like that. Unless you're sitting directly on it, then, you know, they'll know you're there, but you can always get to jump on them. And um, like my last tip, I guess, would be pretty much, you know, if you have a mic, talk in game chat, let people know where you're going, let people know what you're doing. You don't want to just be playing like blindly. Try and play with the team personally. Uh, it doesn't matter if they're like the greatest or anything. If you guys can get some good coordination and talk, like, then, you know, it's way better. You guys can actually figure out a lot more things. And that's pretty much how I got good at the game is just learning where the hotspots are on the map and avoiding those areas. Because if you just go into that over and over, you're going to die, you know, and if you get some teammates, then they can tell you where they died. And then, you know, like, oh, I'm not going to go this way or I'm going to go this way, but I'm going to play more strategic. Anyways, though, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys want a banner, remember, you know, like just like the video, subscribe, comment, be active on the channel and I'll make you one. And um, if not, just pay for it. But anyways, that's pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button. Subscribe for daily World War II videos. And I will see you guys all tomorrow for another video where I'm going to try and show you guys some of the hotspots on some of the maps. But that's, you know, I'm trying to get that done. So I don't know if I'm, it's actually going to be out tomorrow. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.